Hi viewers, welcome to Ganesh YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain you how to create this type of connection in Tecla structures with this example. Okay, let's start. Open Tecla structures with Indian environment. Now we're going to see our example. In our example, we have two beams with profile ISMP 500. Now these two beams are connected with this connection. You can see now we have the plate in web and in flanges also. Okay, you can see in section like this. Now we have beam with web plates and flange plates and this type of bolts. So before going to create this type of connection, we need to create beams. So now we're going to create ISMB 500 beams in Tecla structures. So click on steel and select this beam and zoom it here. Pick first point here and pick the second point to create beam. Right click on mouse interrupt, click on space, right click on mouse redraw. You can see now we have beam like this. Now use the shortcut control 4 for render view. Now, now I'm going to change this beam profile. So double click on this beam. By default, we have profile ISMB 300, but we require ISMB 500. So you can directly type here ISMB 500. Now click on modify to see the result. You can see now this beam should be ISMB 500. Now close this window and click on space, ready to come on, ready to view. Okay, now I'm going to split this beam into two parts. So click on edit and select the split option and select this beam and pick position at middle. Right click on mouse interrupt. Use the shortcut control R and pick the rotation point at the middle and use the control and mouse middle button to rotate like this. Right click on mouse interrupt. Click on space, right click on mouse zero view. Okay, now I'm going to create connection between these two beams with this example. So go to application components by using the shortcut control F in such word type number 77 now scroll it down you can see now you will get this component number 77 select this component and pick the main part as a this beam and pick the second part as a this beam right click on mouse interrupt and close this window to differentiate you can change this beam color so double click on it let's take class 5 click on modify and close it click on space right click on mouse zero view now i'm going to edit this connection according to our example like this so double click on this connection component or use the shortcut shift 4 double click on this connection or zoom out here and pan it like this now click on this parts tab in parts you can control this plate thickness in our example we have plate thickness 8 millimeter for all plates we have one flange plate so enter here top external flange plate 8 millimeter and inner flange 8 and Similarly, bottom flange is also 8 and click on modify to see the result here. You can see now this plate thickness should be 8 millimeter. Now coming to web plates, enter here 8 millimeter and click on modify it. Okay, now click on this web bolt step. In this tab, you can control the bolt size and bolt spacing. In our example, we have web plate. Bolt spacing, we have 50 edge distance in the, this is the plate width and this is the plate length. And we have bolt size here, web plate, 20 dia. So for example, let's take here 20 dia bolt and tolerance by default, we're going to take two millimeter. Now click on modify it. You can see now this bolt size should be 20 millimeter. Now coming to spacing, you can see this yellow color indicates the web plate. In our example, we have this plate in the top view, you can see this is the plate length and this is the plate width. In Tecla structures, you can see this yellow color indicates this web plate, and this is the length and this is the width. Now, coming to width side, edge distance from bolt to edge of this plate, from bolt to edge of this plate, in width wise, we have 50 millimeter from bolt to edge of this plate. So, we need to enter here 50. Okay, at the bottom also, similarly we have 50, so no need to enter here bottom because these are two are same. So 50 and now coming to number of bolts in width wise, we have 1 and 2 and 3. So we need to enter here in small box 3 and the spacing between these two bolts, we have 80 millimeter. Both are same, so you can enter only 180 or give space and enter 280s also. Like this one and 280s. Okay, now click on modify to see the result. You can see now we have number of bolts 1 and 2, 3 in width wise and the spacing 
from bolt to edge of this plate we have 50 this indicates the edge distance from bolt to edge of this plate in width wise now this 3 indicates the number of bolts 1 and 2 and 3 now coming to the spacing 80 between these two bolts okay now coming to length wise this is the plate length and we have the dimensions in here you can see bolt to edge of this plate this dimension indicates the bolt to edge of this plate you need to enter here in our example we have bolt to edge of this plate in lengthwise we have 50 on both side so enter here 50 and from this is a splice this is a one beam and left beam and right beam this is a splice connection here you can see so from splice of this edge of this left beam to first bolt distance also we have 50 so from this blue color indicates the left beam so from edge of this beam to first bolt distance we have 50 so we need to enter here 50 now coming to number of bolts in lengthwise you can see for left beam we have the number of bolts we have one and two and three this is a splice on the edge of this one beam left beam so from left of this beam we have number of bolts one and two and three in the lengthwise so we need to enter here three and the spacing we have 80 millimeter from one bolt to another bolt so enter here 80 now click on modify to see the result you can see in the left beam this 50 indicates the edge distance from bolt to edge of this plate in lengthwise so this spacing now this 50 indicates the edge of this beam to this bolt distance 50 now coming to this 3 indicates the number of bolts in lengthwise you can see this is the plate length so 1 2 and 3 and the spacing 80 millimeter indicates the distance between two bolts 80 similarly you need to enter in right side beam also so enter here 50 in our example you can see now have 50 from right side beam edge to this bolt spacing in edge distance also we have 50 on right side of this plate so enter here 50 now number of bolts you can see 1 2 3 on right side so enter here 3 and spacing you can see 80 and 80 you can enter only 80 or give space and 80 also now click on modify you can see this 50 indicates the spacing between bolt to edge of this right side beam and this 50 indicates the bolt to edge of this plate and this 3 indicates the number of bolts in lengthwise this is the plate length so 1 2 3 and 80 indicates the spacing between these two bolts okay similarly we need to enter for these flanges also so click on this top flange now in our example we have bolt for top flange also 20 millimeter so click on here and select 20 dia and tolerance by default we're going to take 2 millimeter now coming to bolt spacing in top flange you can see from bolt to bolt spacing we need to enter you can see now from bolt to bolt spacing we have 100 millimeter so enter here 100 in section A you can see from bolt to bolt now click on modify you can see now this space between these two bolts should be 100 millimeter now coming to you can see now we have two different options here available uh, on the left side of the center of beam to left side and right side for example in left side we have number of bolts one you can see center of beam to left side in our example center of beam to left side we have only one bolt so enter here one bolt and no need to enter the spacing because it is a one row so we need to enter edge distance here uh, in our example we have edge distance from bolt to edge of this plate 40 millimeters so enter here 40 millimeter now click on modify you can see plate width will be changed like this now this 40 indicates the edge distance from bolt to edge of this plate this spacing should be 40 on both side now this 100 indicates the spacing between these two bolts should be 100 millimeter now coming to lengthwise plate spacing we need to enter here so in the lengthwise we have this option here you can see this plate this yellow color indicates the plate and this blue color indicates the beam for example you can see bolt to edge of this plate in lengthwise we need to enter here in our example we have from bolt to edge of this plate 50 so enter here 50 
and here also from bolt to edge of this beam we have 50 so bolt to edge of this blue color beam you need to enter here 50 now this small box indicates the number of bolts in lengthwise this is the length of this plate so in the lengthwise so we have number of bolts 1 2 3 for left beam so you need to enter here 3 and the spacing we have 80 millimeter so you can enter 80 or give space and 80 to take same spacing between these two bolts now click on modify you can see now this 50 indicates the spacing from bolt to edge of this plate and this 50 indicates the bolt to edge of this beam now this 3 indicates number of bolts 1 2 3 and the spacing 80 millimeters between these two bolts similarly we need to enter on right side also so in our example we have on right side also same dimension 50 50 edge distance so enter here 50 and here also 50 number of bolts on right side you can see now we have 1 2 3 so enter here 3 and the spacing between bolts we have 80 millimeter so enter here 80 now click on modify to see the result you can see now we have number of bolts 3 on right side beam and the spacing should be 50 on edge side and spacing between these two bolts should be 80 millimeter similarly we need to enter in bottom side also before that we need to uh, enter this this plate width so you can see we don't have any option between the plate width so click on this parts tab you can directly enter the in inside flange plate here in our example we have flange plate width 70 millimeter you can see from this edge to this edge it should be 70 so you need to enter here 70 inside top inside flange plate and similarly bottom inside flange plate also we need to enter 70 millimeter now click on modify to see the result you can see now this plate width should be 70 millimeter now coming to this top flange bolt by default we need to take at the center so make it at zero or by default it will take zero okay now coming to this bottom flange bolts click on here and similarly we need to enter the same dimension in the bottom side also so click on here and select the bolt size 20 and tolerance 2 millimeter you can see now we have bolt size 20 and tolerance by default we're going to take 2 millimeter now coming to here space spacing between these two bolts in the bottom side also you need to take 100 millimeter you can see 100 so enter here 100 now edge distance 40 millimeter so enter here 40 number of bolts on left side or right side we have only one so enter here one no need to enter the spacing because it is one row now similarly in the lengthwise for the bottom flange you can see this is the bottom flange information we have so enter here edge distance 50 50 on both side you can see this is 50 and from left beam to first bolt distance we have 50 now coming to number of bolts on left side 1 2 3 so enter here 3 and the spacing similarly we are going to take 80 millimeter okay similarly we need to take on right side also so enter the spacing 80 50 50 edge distance number of bolts 3 and edge spacing between the bolts 80 millimeter okay by default we're going to take zero to place the bolt at exactly middle of this inside flange plate now click on modify to see the result you can see now we have three number of bolts on left left side and right side also okay now click on modify apply okay click on space right click on mouse do draw view okay you'll get like this okay that's it about how to create this type of connection in tecla structures with this example if you like this video please like it and share it if you have any doubts please comment below for more tecla structure related videos please go to my channel youtube.com slash gani sk i will provide this link in the description below of this video please go through it and come here under videos you can find out so many tecla structure related videos i hope this video is might be helpful to you and at the top right corner please click on subscribe button if you subscribe you will get notification or updates when uploading new video so please click on subscribe okay thank you